boom yes folks so welcome welcome if my face looking a little tired it's because I have been on my legs for a long period of time recording a series of videos most of which would have dealt with the whole question of vectors I had some other um, I had a, a live zoom there for one of my students somewhere in between there so we're more or less at the end of what I would like to call the discussion phase the phase where I talk about stuff the phase where I explain stuff the phase where I go through examples right the next phase of your learning is the phase where you go through questions where you move closer now to being in a position to answer any question that they ask of you in an exam situation so the first phase is discussion the second phase is I'll find a nice word for it but it basically is questions <laughs> right and the third phase is where you start to put time limits on yourself so in, at that point is no longer just about answering a question but answering a question in a particular time all right so we're moving along let us consider the origin the points now let me bring it on this side let me consider the origin oh right we go in general now so and this is something that you would pick up as well in the course of remember in our previous video I would have mentioned that anytime you do a question on vectors it is highly recommended highly recommended that you do the question with either of a diagram there are questions where they will give you the diagram to start with and you have to finish the question sometimes the diagram would involve position vectors started from the origin at other times it will just be general displacement vectors in space there are other times when they would describe a certain situation using vectors they will give you the vectors and you now would be required as part of the process of solving the question solving the problem answering the question to draw a little diagram to give you a visual aid to solving the problem to answer any question all right so consider this scenario you start from the origin O which means that any vector coming from this is a position vector so let us make this the point A and let us make this the point B right so in other words that's the position vector A and that's the position vector B right A and B in a lot of vectors questions you will start off with two position vectors sometimes you start with three position vectors as soon as you say the position vector A you know immediately where the vector start from you start from the origin the, 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 the position vector B you know that position vector starts from the origin and ends up at a point B in the same way that the position vector A starts from the origin and ends up at A the position vector B ends up starts from the origin and ends up at the point B and let us say for the sake of argument that you have another position vector C which we will include later but let me start with these two first All right generally speaking in a lot of cases they will ask you to find AB so in other words OA is equal to A and OB is equal to B so we want to find the vector AB what is the vector AB well the vector AB is simply right 
Let me change the color now. The vector AB is, we start from A and we move across to B. All right? As the vector that we're trying to find. So, AB is equal to what? AB is the same thing as if we start from A and we go straight across to B. But how do we express that movement using the vectors that we have available to us? Well, watch it. If we start from A and we go to O, and then we move from O to B, that is the same thing as if we had started from A and gone straight across to B. So in other words, we can say immediately then that AB is equal to AO, AO plus uh, OB, right? AO we know is the directional opposite of OA, which has already been defined as the vector A. And we know that if OA is A, then AO would be minus A. So that would be minus A plus, and we know that OB is B. Minus A plus B, which is the same thing as B minus A. So in general, if we have two position vectors, and we define the position vector OA as A, and we define the ve position vector OB as B, then AB is equal to B minus A. So in general, this is something that you could roll off your tongue. And you could say that, that uh, AB, AB, is equal to B minus A. That is something that you can lock away and keep for reference. Right? Remember, however, that this is only the case if A and B are position vectors, meaning that the origin is implied in all of this. Right? By the same token, if we wanted to find BA, we could say that BA is the same thing as moving from B to O and then from O to A. So just for the sake of argument, right, and we put it in green, we could say that BA is the same thing as B to O plus O to A. So in other words, B to O is minus B. Right? Equal minus B plus A. Which is the same thing as A minus B. So in the same way that AB was B minus A, by the same token, BA is <laughs> A minus B. So you recognize the pattern. Alright? If the two vectors share a common origin at the point O, which is the origin itself, it means that the two vectors emanating from that origin O are position vectors. And by virtue of position, being position vectors, we can do a whole set of things here, and we get this general result. This is something that is good to stick in your head. AB is, I just reverse the letters, B minus A. Remember that this is big A and this is AB, where A is the end of the position vector A and B is the end of the position vector B. Position vector meaning that they are defined with respect to the origin. B with the line underneath it, minus A with the line underneath it. Position vector B minus position vector A. So AB is equal to BA. You have that in the back of your mind, but you also have a picture of it like this, and you also have a picture of this, how we derive it, and you could go through these steps and get it. And you could apply the same idea 
in the reverse, where you could now find the vector BA, right? Same vector, I just draw it in green. BA, just as we did across there. All right? It's a straight line, eh? and the only reason why I join it above here is because I don't want to mix the colors. All right? So BA is, direct, is directionally opposite to AB, and as you can see, AB is B minus A, which is minus, well, BA is A minus B, which is minus of B minus A. So, you want me to write it out? All right, I'm going to write it out. All right? So, we already defined AB as B minus A. So, we know that AB is, no, sorry. We already have AB, so we're looking to do BA now. All right? We know that BA is minus AB, which is minus of B minus A, which is minus B plus A, which is the same thing as A minus B. So everything making sense. Everything making sense. Everything adding up. No matter how we look at it, everything adding up. All right? So this in blue here is B minus A. And in green here, we have A minus B. All right? I'm trying not to make things overlap too much. Right. Right? Directional opposites of each other. And that's it. Now, let us consider the case where we have two vectors originating from a common point that is not the origin. Right? We could apply the same rules. Same rules, the only difference now is that having defined the vectors, we wouldn't be writing them with the lines underneath because they wouldn't be position vectors anymore. So we will change the situation and we will change the lettering as well to make a clear distinction between the general example for position vectors and the general example for vectors that are not position vectors. All right? So let us say, for the sake of argument, we have a, this is a, this is a vector P. In fact, no, we wouldn't be able to do that. You know why? Because by definition, once you define any point, let me say this is the point P, let me say this is the point Q, and let me say this is the point R. All right? By definition, once you actually list the coordinates of the points, you're actually talking about a position vector. Right? Um, so what? QR is RP minus. No, 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 no. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. If we define this and we define this. Let me say this is uh, P. Let me say this is Q. And this is R. Then RQ, RQ, there's Q minus, Q minus R, and QR is R minus Q. Nah, right. nah, 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 we will leave that alone. We will leave that alone. Nah, it's just confusing people. Confusion.
one, two, three, four, five, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and boom. Right, so we have here, I just rub off there because I would have been trying to check something out there, but let me stick with the position vectors because to go there would introduce a whole level of confusion, but it is something that we will meet when we actually do any questions. All right? So I don't want to overcomplicate the process at this initial stage of discussion. When we get into the questions, we will meet everything that we have to meet. And as we do that, we will explain. But I want to reiterate the fact that if you are here at this point in the video because you would have gone through all the videos leading up to this point, I would like to commend you very highly for being able to go through all of that with me. One and two, because in doing so, you have already put yourself in a position where, as I would have stated in a previous video, you have some gas in the tank and you could push forward. Now, to enhance your understanding by doing questions. All right? So, with that, we bring this series of videos to a close. And the next step is to do questions. All right? Where the C-sex syllabus is concerned, this thing of vectors represents the second half of question 10. Vectors and matrices. The first half is the matrices where you deal with all the things to do with matrices, all the operations, and then you deal with inverse and indice and um, inverse determinants, adjoint, and all them things. Adjoint. Then you deal with solving simultaneous equations and them kind of things. So we making some progress where number ten in the CSEC mathematics syllabus is. If you're running through this because you're coming from some other syllabus somewhere else, welcome, all the same. All right? So keep good, take care, and I trust and I hope that whether it is with me or anywhere else, with anybody else, you will go on to the next step now, which is to do questions on this topic of vectors. All right? So take care, keep good, and come back. We have other videos on other topics. Boom.